Hi, I'm Leah Benford from Science North. For the second summer in a row, parts of Northern Ontario are being affected by very large forest fires. Although we see forest fires as a devastating occurrence, there can be a positive side. To learn more about all aspects of a forest fire, we talk to a few different experts in the field. I'm here at the Sudbury Fire Base with Tristan Wagner and we're going to talk a little bit about the current fire situation. Hi Tristan. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Good, thanks. Now this is early, we're only, we're not even into June yet. Is yeah. this typical for a fire season to be this busy or is this abnormal? Yeah, this is uh, somewhat abnormal, um, you know, with uh, the lack of winter that we had. Um, I think everybody experienced that, not much snow. Um, we're starting out really dry already, um, so these areas are very uh, lightning receptive. Um, and uh, you know, compared to last season in Ontario, we didn't really start getting very busy until uh, you know, later on in June. So it's only May and we're already kind of going all over the place. So. There's a lot of crews on base. Uh, there's a lot of crews walking around, a lot of people here. Is there a lot going on in the Sudbury area as far as fires go right now? Yeah, there's, uh, there's quite a lot going on in Sudbury. Um, I think the bigger fires seem to be up around Timmins as of, uh, as of right now. Uh, Kirkland Lake had a, a pretty good fire as well. Um, but I arrived here uh, Tuesday night and I ended up getting dispatched on Saturday uh, to a pretty good sized fire. Um, and on Saturday there are actually 12 fires in the Sudbury district wow. alone, so that was a busy weekend for us. Well thank you very much yeah, you're very and uh, best of luck in the rest of the season. Thanks very much. Hi Jenny. Hi Leah. We know that forest fires can be devastating and that's what we're seeing a lot in Northern Ontario right now is how big these forest fires and how powerful they can get, but they are important. So I'm just wondering if you can tell us a little bit more about the science behind why we do need a forest fire. Absolutely. Um, so in Northern Ontario, uh, it's mostly boreal forest and boreal forest really depends on forest fires to regenerate. Um, basically the forest in general, forest fires add more nutrients into the soil. Um, they burn away uh, rotting diseased trees and they often uh, end up burning away those, uh, those pests and those insects that do um, kill off a lot of trees. So they can be really great for renewal. Um, naturally, uh, forest fires are usually a little bit smaller um, and and usually uh, not as difficult to control as some of the larger ones we're seeing. Uh, larger forest fires can be especially devastating uh, when you have a lot of dry matter in uh, the forest, which is what we have right now this year. Very so that's, is that due to the weather? We've had little rain, yeah. it's been really windy. Is that a factor that's yeah. kind of driving this Yeah, a, bit? a really dry spring, um, so the soil is drier. So the fuel on the soil, so branches, uh, leaf litter ignites more easily. Very dry uh, spring and early spring as well. Um, it was warmer faster, so it was drier faster. Mm -hmm. um, there are lots of species, especially in the boreal forest, that uh, forest fires are a part of their life cycle, uh, like jack pine, like aspen. There are a lot of uh, plants too, like fireweed, um, that need uh, that need either the heat or the higher nutrients after a fire um, to, to regenerate. So there are trees and plants that do rely on fire but everybody wonders about the animals I mean from my perspective I don't think it'd be something that an animal would rely on as part of their part of their life and it actually be a major problem so what happens where do all the animals go that's a good question that's a really great question um, so in a smaller um, more typical fire a smaller brush fire um, it wouldn't really be a giant problem for most of the animals um, they could easily kind of move away um, as a smaller brush fire would burn those things uh, on the forest floor and then uh, usually become extinguished kind of on its own. Uh, these larger inferno type fires do present a larger problem for animals. So you'll have some animals will go underground, uh, like a lot of snakes and amphibians will try going underground. Um, aquatic animals uh, like turtles will seek the refuge that they naturally would seek in a moment of, of sort of panic. So they would go into the water. Mm -hmm. uh, birds would fly away. Uh, those animals that either can't get away or um, hide in spots that unfortunately get too warm um, wouldn't make it unfortunately yeah so it's just part of the natural life cycle i guess yeah. yeah okay well thank you very much jenny i You're learned welcome. a lot